Hello, it is the end of day two. I keep it over my glasses. I'm far away, but I feel like my face looks weird without my glasses now. I've been wearing them so long. But anyways, I'll take them off because it's bothering me. It's the end of day two. I'd like to say that it was easy, but it was not easy. It wasn't as bad as I've experienced day twos before. I think it's mostly because I stay busy. Um, I prefer to start my juice cleanses on a week or work day because then that means that I am busy in the kind of work that I do. It's a lot of thinking and mental, so my mind's always thinking about what I'm working on, not about the snicker bar in the room down the hall that I want to go get. So that wasn't too bad. Um, I wasn't that hungry. I drink about three juices a day and the rest water. And uh, I did have to take my daughter to some appointments this morning. So that just made that I had, I pushed off when I started drinking in a lot because I didn't want to be driving all over Houston trying to find a place to eat. So, and I'm very picky about where I go to the bathroom, because, uh, yeah, well, anyways, so it is, I did stop and get some more juice at Whole Foods, I didn't make anything today, but I did try something different, I was before, and I bought celery, because I have, have been researching and looking into that celery juice is supposed to be good for you, like just pure celery juice by itself. But um, so I bought a stalk of celery, but I didn't juice it when I got home. I'll do that tomorrow because you're supposed to drink it first thing in the morning by itself. And um, I'll just do that probably Thursday morning before I get my celebration smoothie. But what I did add was the celery seed. I added that to the juice and it's very strong. It smells like celery, but as much as it's kind of strong and a little like off-putting it was really good in my green juice I don't remember what this juice was but it's one of the green ones I got at Whole Foods and and I and it's their cold press juices not the pasteurized processed ones it's the cold press juices that I get from them and um, it's really good in it I can still smell it but it's really good in the juice so I, I like that I can't think of anything else like I said I'm busy I have more energy but I don't know if I have more energy because we're trying to keep myself from eating stuff, so I'm staying busy, or if I have more energy because I'm not eating the car, the processed sugar and the processed food and stuff like that. So I, it's probably a little bit of both. I did start to have a little bit of like nervous energy when I wanted to start like punch and kick things, and that made me a little bit of the <laughs> emotional detoxing, maybe some of the anger and things letting go of some things so hopefully that's a good thing but I think that's about it today's been okay it hasn't been horribly hard I mean I can get through this it's it's all in your mind it's all a mental thing so I'm trying to just stay positive and one thing I do a lot when I I find that to focus on the juice cleanses or stuff like this is that I'll just start to just immerse myself in it. So I'll start reading juicing books and um, looking up new recipes and just really going and doing a lot. I think I looked up the juice guru and I was looking at some of the videos or podcasts, um, listening to some of the podcasts on there. So that's kind of what I do. I kind of keep my mind focused on the task at hand. And I'm in like Joe Cross's Facebook group and Squeeze the Wines Facebook group and some more juice groups that you know kind of keeps me focused on what I'm doing and kind of some support too. Even if I don't tell, you know, announce I'm doing it in the groups, other people do and we kind of just support each other. So that's the main thing. I haven't really told a lot of people that I'm doing it, certain people, because I don't feel like explaining it. So if anybody's curious about it, they can just kind of follow the videos. Right now, this is just day two, and it's all juice for the first few days. And then I'll probably add in some smoothies on day four. Uh, but I didn't talk about, I don't know if I talked about, I decided what my rewards are going to be for getting through this. And it cannot be food. Don't reward yourself with food. But so at 10 days, every 10 days, I'm going to have a, a reward. So the first 10 days, I'm going to get these cool glass bottles that I want that you can put juice in when you juice it. 
after 20 days, I'm going to get a new oil rack that's going to go right behind me for my oils because they're in a box now because I broke my last acrylic rack. So I'm going to get a metal one. And then at 30 days, which will be on my birthday, I'm going to get the Huron juicer. It's a cold press juicer. I'm going to sell the one we have with the centrifuge one and I'm going to get the cold press one. So I'm excited about that. Those are things that mean something to me. So it's going to help in, um, inspire and push me on as, as well as feeling better. So that's it. And I'll probably take my weight and blood pressure on those um, milestones as well. I try not to focus too much on the weight part because I know a lot of it is just flushing the water out initially, but um, I just don't, I just want to do this as a lifestyle change and not as a get weight off real quick change. So I was, I was going to show you the books that I was looking at. There's a couple of juice books, but I'll show you tomorrow. I've got some cool recipes in there. So wish me luck one more day. I just think you go to sleep and I wake up and I've got through two days. So be blessed, guys.